Welcome to Vacuum Wars, where in the past I've tested lots of carpet cleaners, spot cleaners, and carpet cleaner shampoos, but until now I've never tested any carpet stain remover sprays. So I decided to buy 12 of the most popular brands and test them in a controlled way against urine stains. In this case, I used Coyote Urine. And I did find out which one I think is the best, but also in the 80 plus individual tests I did for this video, I learned a lot about how to use these sprays for best results, and it sort of turned into a video about how best to clean cat and dog urine stains in general, and I think it's going to be pretty useful all around. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, you need to know how and why these sprays work. For cat and dog urine stains, most of these sprays use either enzymes or some type of oxygen compound as their primary ingredient, which are great for organic stains like urine or other bodily fluids, but not good for petrochemical stains like grease. And though enzymes and oxy are very different, the instructions on how to use them are basically identical, which is that you spray it on the stain, making sure to spray it a little wider than the stain itself. None of the instructions said exactly how much to use, just that you needed to liberally cover the stain. Then I think you should very carefully work it into the stain, making sure not to spread the stain around any more than it already is, though none of the instructions actually said to do this step. You then just let it sit, and here the instructions varied from sitting from 1 minute to 15 minutes, and some, like the Resolve brand, said 5 minutes should be the maximum amount to let it sit. Either way, this is a very important step because the oxy, or enzymes, need time to break down the stain. The next step was a little counterintuitive to me, but all 12 of the instructions said the same thing, which was to then blot up the stain. They used the word blot, not scrub, but blot, and I eventually realized that they knew what they were talking about because that's all that's needed. Basically, the stains in the carpet are loosened from the fibers by the oxy, or enzymes, and it just needs to be sort of blotted up with a dry absorbent towel. I thought of it like when you use tape or something to pick up lint. You just sort of pick it up. You then need to let it dry for 24 to 48 hours and come back and vacuum up the dry residue. If it's an old or particularly difficult stain, you may need to repeat this whole process another time or two. I used a half ounce of coyote urine for the test, which is stronger, darker, and smells so much worse than regular dog or cat urine, but is chemically very similar. One set of stains I let dry for 24 hours, and one set was fresh. With the first test, I tried to use exact amounts of all the different sprays, one ounce to be exact, but I had to pour it on the stain instead of spraying it, which I think sort of spread the stain around more than it should have. Also in this first test, I didn't shake up the bottles before using them, which is important for the enzyme types especially because those solids sink to the bottom. I also did almost no agitation on this first round of tests, and the results were not that great overall, which I mainly attribute to user error, though it should be said that the winner here was the same as the other tests, but more on that in a minute. I corrected a lot of that in the second test, where I used the sprayer that time. I also shook them up and agitated them a lot more by scrubbing with my gloved fingers, though this is where I learned that it's important not to agitate them in a way that spreads the stain more, because I definitely made the stain area bigger by doing it this way. I also used this same method on one set of the dried stains from the first test to see how a second treatment would do, which was pretty good, actually. But the results of all three of these tests were the same in terms of the winner. So I found that the two Resolve products were the best of the ones I tried, and by a pretty good margin. Though if I had to choose, I think that the Resolve Carpet and Rug was a bit better than the Resolve Urine Destroyer, and I chose the Resolve Carpet and Rug version to do further experiments with to see if I could find a better method of cleaning the stains. But first, I needed to make sure that the reason that the Resolves did so good was not because of harsh chemicals or something that would harm colored carpets. Since I was using a white carpet for this test, I might not have noticed if it did. So I did two sets of tests on a colored carpet and determined that none of the sprays that I was using discolored that carpet, or at least that I could tell. Though the instructions on nearly all of these sprays say to test a small area of the carpet first, and I think that's a good idea. The next test was to see if it was better to use the Resolve plus a spot cleaner, like you would with a pretreatment, or the Resolve as a pretreatment plus a carpet cleaner, or just the Resolve only with no machines. And I determined that though it was close, using the spray like a pretreatment first, and then using the carpet cleaner was preferred over the spot cleaner, if for no other reason than the same results can be achieved without getting on your hands 
and knees to scrub it. I then ran some tests to see if a smaller, cheaper carpet cleaner could achieve the same result. I used the Hoover Power Dash, which was my budget pick in a recent video, and it did just as good. Interestingly, I also found that using a carpet cleaner without any pretreatment was actually better than using just the pretreatment blotting method alone, and I tried this with both wet and dry stains. So I found the best way to clean a stain, to the point that you can't even tell it was there, even on white carpet, was to use the Resolve carpet and rug as directed, including the blotting, and then follow that process up with a few passes from a cheap carpet cleaner. You don't even have to use that much carpet shampoo in the cleaner to get good results, though I was using the Bissell Professional 4X, which I've found to be my favorite in other tests. However, you can achieve very similar results by just doing another round of blotting with the Resolve alone, or by one application of the Resolve and blotting and then using an iron to steam the stain with a wet cloth on top of it. But I don't want to recommend that one officially since I'm not sure that's strictly safe with all the chemicals involved. I plan on doing some tests with steam for my final video on this subject, but for now, I can confidently say that my favorite stain remover spray for organic fluids is the Resolve Carpet and Rug or urine destroyer, but for best results, follow that up with one of these three other methods. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.